Hey friend, I want to show you my favorite journaling Bibles in all the categories. Of over probably 200 or so journaling Bibles that are available on the market at the moment. Maybe it's 150, but I think it's close to 200. I've done a lot of investigating into journaling Bibles over the years and there is so many options. And I've got a great guide, the, my complete journaling Bible guide is super comprehensive and it goes into a lot of detail grouping the different journaling Bibles by certain classifications. So whether it's white paper, cream paper, the words of Jesus are in red, whether it's a certain translation, whether it has line art or coloring, or whether it's for a certain audience, like for children or teens or anything in between. It is very, very comprehensive. And so I'll link that if you're watching um, somewhere besides in the guide, you definitely want to pop in um, and find that link and head over there. You can actually just look at my favorites though. And of all the categories and the different translations that you can get and different features, these are some of my absolute favorites right in front of me. And so I want to show you through them and show you why I like them. And then also just point out that this is not all the covers that these come in. So many Bibles are created one certain Bible and then they cover it with several different covers depending on which publisher. And so you can also find it in a range all the way from just paperback and, and really cost effective all the way up to like a really beautiful natural leather and uh, heirloom quality and it depends on which one and uh, what options so every bible is a bit different every publisher is a bit different the paper thickness is different and all these things matter but if you are looking for my favorites because that all feels so overwhelming then this is the place for you so i'm going to show you through my favorites let's get started if this is useful to you, please do give this video a like and that will help the algorithms know to share this with others who might find it useful. So you can support me in that way and also consider subscribing so that I can continue to help you. And with that, let's get started. All time favorite of all of these, if I had to choose, would be this one right here. And this one is it doesn't come in this style it actually looks just like this when it comes and it doesn't have any of this on the outside either i covered this myself i put the eight these page edges on here and i think that's why i love it so much is because it's lived in and in my opinion when you get a bible where there's perhaps linen or canvas like that cloth overboard or it has a hard back like this that's plain it can really lend itself to you adding your own personal creative flair to it now my youtube channel has details on how you can actually do the the page edges and to alter the cover and so you can search for those on my channel if that's something that you're interested in but the point of this is that it's just so cost effective so easy to work with it lays flat and the cover the binding is holding up nicely i've put this bible through a lot and over the years it has worked well for me and it's just a regular font size with two columns of text like this and then in here we have the two inches of margin space here on the side if you wanted to really really go for it slightly over two and then here is just like seven and a quarter inches a little bit under that and that is the original journaling bible it is the bible that was able to help popularize and serve the Bible journaling movement when it was all getting going and starting. And it is so much fun. I've had a lot of fun with this Bible and it's got a little thing here that is elastic that's in the binding. And so it will actually just flip right over here and sit on the top and hold it all together. And you can see it's kind of warping a little bit but it's actually fine it holds well and is a great bible very lightweight and can easily be taken with me i just bought myself a little cloth pouch 
put it in there to zip it up and keep it safe and I take it lots of places with me. You can see the binding is just holding up well. So that's my all time favorite. And I'll link to these over in the guide. So that's a black hardcover ESV journaling Bible, M real favorite. And this is the uh, double column. Now let's look at the other, well, actually let's look at this one next. If you don't like that and you want something a little bit better quality, you can actually get this one here, which is the exact same Bible in a different cover. And this one is in the natural leather with a flap here. And the thing that is so cool about this is not that it's just so lovely and that you, you know, you've got all of this going on in here. It's the same ESV Bible. When you lay it down, you can actually set this to one side while you're doing your creativity on the other side. And it is a really lovely Bible, but the coolest part of this is that if you do lots of creativity where you start to fill your Bible with extra bits like tags and different inserts and overlays and tip-ins and different things like that, and your Bible suddenly gets this thick, it's difficult to get one of these bands onto it, but a leather flap like this holds that all in place and then you can just wrap around with this when you're closing it and you can basically force everything to stay closed and intact right in there no matter how big it actually gets. So from my perspective this is going to last me a long time also because this natural leather as you can see the patina is great but every time I you know I move my finger along it it just marks it a little bit and over time it's actually just become more and more lovely because it's aging with time really well and it has a little loop here. So this is ESV. It doesn't have any of the words of Jesus in red or anything like that, but it's just average cream paper lines in the side. And this is basically the same with all of their journaling Bibles. And you can see, here's an example of something I've created in there. I really have enjoyed these Bibles and you can still see all of the words even through this, it's um, a great black color that can do well when you're tinting the, the space. And so it is a really lovely Bible, whether you get something that is this kind of heirloom quality, lovely investment that's sort of a gift for yourself or others, or if you wanna get something that you can kind of make your own that is hardcover like this. Both of those are absolute favorites of mine, and I do really, really enjoy them. As a little tip, it's nice to do the page edges before your Bible gets these buckles in it from doing other pages and taking notes or creativity, any of that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind. Now, if you don't like that double column, you can actually move to another favorite of mine, which is the single column. And that means that when you look in here, you can see that this is just one column of text. I'm just going like this. I'm not seeing two columns here. And if you are in Psalms here uh, with all of these, there can sometimes be, you know, like this is nearly two and three quarter inches of space. And here at its best, it is actually three and a quarter inch of space, which is really lovely. And this does actually have quite a lot of um, inserts in it for me. I really enjoy this and uh, I always make sure that all of my creativity is transparent but you can actually see that it's done really well because I do page prep my pages and it, that's um, a technique that I invented. You can go to pageprep.com to learn more about that and it's just a really fabulous uh, bible that is just a bit different in the single column because instead of this which is the same, you actually don't get the same height. You're at like a full eight inches here nearly. And so that gives you just a little bit extra space in these. And all of them come at the very back with a little Bible reading plan, which you can use to get used through the Bible in a year. So that is a really lovely one. This is this with 
this is a chestnut with leaves and you can see those leaves it's just so lovely so this is not leather it's sort of a cost-effective alternative um, that has that flexibility and softness when you open it up and it lays flat just nicely so that's a favorite of mine in single column now if you want single column but you just really want to be able to read these Bibles, then a favorite of mine is this one here, which is the single column. And no, this is not just a crossway promotion here. I do really love their Bibles, uh, but we're looking at other ones too. I just want to kind of group these together for you. So we've looked at, at some of my absolute favorites and they are uh, really some, some great ones from crossway, but this one here, I can show it to you brand new. It's a single column journaling Bible, but it's large print. And this particular cover is not always available, but it is sometimes, and it's really lovely. It's the exact same one as this natural leather flap one. This particular cover, there's a few covers out there, but I wanted to show you when it comes, it comes like this and it has um, a little thing here with some instructions and it shows you how to do this so that you can get it set up for yourself the way that you would like to have it. And then when you open this up and you pop it open and you look in here, you can see that the text is just much bigger. And this has a little bit larger space with nine and a quarter inches tall. And it is the same sort of two inch with just a tiny, tiny bit extra width. So really lovely Bible, same exact translation and types of pages in there where you're just getting a little bit bigger text. And then it comes in a range of covers as well. And that's their large print version. But let's move on to another type of Bible that is from another company that's large print, which actually at the moment doesn't come in hardcover, but there's one that comes similar to this style here with the, the flap is the Journal of the Word Bible. And they have a few different things. They also in different covers, but they do have some large print ones as well. The interesting thing about these, uh, the hardcover isn't available at the moment, but there's, I, I always update my guide with whatever there is. So whatever you're seeing here may not be what I would recommend and that I think is the best. So definitely um, check out the guide for all of that information. So journal the word, they come in New King James Version, King James Version. Sometimes they have NASB. They have a different set of translations from time to time and so depending on the cover, it will look kind of like this. So it has a little bit of a faint line here and the text is comfort print and the large print is really quite easy to read. And then this is eight inches tall with uh, two inches wide of space. And these have basically almost nothing to speak of on the back except for a couple of notes and then the contents at the front. So it's pretty straightforward. Not a lot going on here except for the text and the space itself. And then you can see that they do try and use up the full area here, whereas in some Bibles that's a little bit different. And this has cream paper with those faint lines. So it, it, it depends on which covers. Go have a look at those and see what works for you. Here is another cover that's not in large print, which is a really lovely one. In They use this comfort print that makes it a lot easier to read. And of course, all the journal ones are lay flat and have really, it says that it's eight point font, but it's actually, it feels easier to read because of the comfort print as well, which is a really special thing. This is cloth overboard, this particular one with that beautiful gold in it. And then page edges ready for you to do something with if you want. And then when you come in here, there is some good space and the pages just have, you know, that average size of um, font, but it's not too small. And then here is eight inches tall by two inches wide. And I really like Journal of the Word for a couple of reasons. One specifically, um, other than these really nice satin 
things here is you can see that the words of Jesus are in red, which is a really lovely feature if that's something that matters to you. And Journal of the Word has that along with their cover print across all of their journaling Bibles that are called Journal of the Word. And so they have a whole collection of them and a link to all of them. Um, but you want to be looking for your favorites. Um, then I'm going to link to my absolute favorites. And, and this is a way that you can get a King James Bible. Uh, there's a few different covers that they come in for different types of tastes and interests. And then you can actually get that translation that you're after and the words of Jesus in red with easy to read or you can bump it up to the large print and see what options they have there. So those are really good Bibles. I really like them. And Thomas Nelson as well as Crossway have one of these interleaved Bibles in, in different covers depending on which one you're looking at. This is an example from Crossway comes in a box here that's a little heftier. The one from uh, Thomas Nelson, the journal, uh, theirs is just a cover that you would toss. And it, this has this linen, uh, it's kind of the same for both of them that I've got. And in interleaved Bible, when you pop it open, it's just like this, where there's text on both sides, and then there is blank on both sides. Text on both sides, blank on both sides. It just does that, and that's the interleaved part of this. So this particular one is designed as a not large print, it's just average print, and this is Crossway's um, ESV journaling Bible. And then as you go over to the one from uh, Thomas Nelson, then there's, is much like the Journal of the Word one where the words of Jesus are in red and all of that. The, the space that you have in these Bibles is actually six inches wide, or a little bit more than that, and then this is nine and a quarter inches tall. So it's like six by nine. It's a really, really fabulous amount of space for note-taking, for creativity, for illustrating, lettering, all of that. And I'll just show you an example of something that I created in here, which is just a lot of fun. I do really like this Bible, and I think it's really um, nice to have all that space. I think some people find that they get a bit of blank canvas syndrome when they see so much white space, and they kind of freak out and think, what am I going to put in all that space? Uh, so sometimes a margin is better if you're not used to coming up with ideas and going for it, but it actually is a really lovely thing. You just have to keep in mind that it's a little bit heavier, all of these are. And then if you page prep, then it's that same thickness of paper that you would expect from an average Bible. And so then let's move into an illustrated option here, which is a lot of fun. The Inspire Bible, this particular one, there's a few of them. Um, I really think this is a great Bible. From all of the illustrated ones that are out there, I think the Inspire collection is probably the best for those like line art coloring Bibles. And the reason for that is, even though they just use the New Living Translation, which isn't everyone's favorite translation, um, what's good about these is that inside of these, they use a variety of designers, which means that there's a little bit of something for everyone in case you're not interested in a certain taste. Every single one of them, they have the Inspire, Inspire Prayer, Inspire Praise, Inspire Faith. There's a few different ones and they come out with different ones from time to time. This, the ones that just say Inspire, uh, that, that collection is all in cream paper and they've got it in large print and and then as you get into some of the other collections, they even have it in giant print. There's a few different options. And these are really good in terms of really encouraging you to engage with the section of scripture that you're on. So each chapter heading is like this. And then this is a section uh, that's about Leviticus, but this is on chapter 19. So they do their best to try and stick with the area of the Bible that you're working with. There's somewhere between 400 and 600 illustrations in each of these different collections of Bibles, and they try and use mostly new stuff in each one. And then as you get into 
uh, these Bibles, you'll find that there's usually a roughly around 1600 pages to a Bible. So you can do the math. There's plenty of space in these margins here with these um, lines for you to do your own creative stuff. And then you can create or just cover it if you don't want to do what's there. So this is a really fun one if you want to have some inspiration starting for you to help you engage with the scripture without your own ideas per se. With that in mind, I wanted to show you a couple of options. Uh, there is actually an Inspire Bible here that is for girls. And this is just for younger girls. This comes in a few covers too. Um, this one here is just really, really sweet. You can actually um, check out all of the line art Bibles together if that's of interest to you. But I think this is really fun. It does have some extras in here for prayer and different things for um, young girls. and then some illustrations and it's really designed with a couple of different colors in here and it's very engaging so I would really encourage you if this is of interest to you to get in here and um, consider getting this for the young girl in your life and I don't know what age appropriateness here but you just have to kind of see what works for you uh, what you think and go for it. Next, I've got here my keepsake Bible, my own keepsake Bible. This is so, so sweet. This actually has the page edges ready to be colored. This is for six to 10 year olds and the cover comes off of this. So you can actually color the entire thing all the way. And it even has a little insert in it, which I'll grab here and there's some extra. So, so much here that you can actually color and it's designed as stories. So the Old and New Testament, there's all these different stories in here and you can pick a story and head over there and read the story, that Bible story. And then at times you'll find lots and lots of creativity and at times you'll find lots of story reading. And so this really is like a great story Bible for children. They could read the Bible together with you at bedtime, for instance, and then have a chance um, to create when they are engaging with it. And I think this is such a great way to in encourage young kids that engaging with scripture is a healthy thing. Now, they can respect it and actually engage with the concept of what that particular verse has to say by actually looking at it and saying, okay, I want to understand this story and read about this and it can engage them with it and kind of teach them that it's not a dangerous thing to color in your Bible. It's a, it's a dangerous thing to not engage with scripture and you can treat it with respect by actually understanding what it's all about and be engaged with scripture rather than feel like it's just a wall of text that you don't engage with. Anybody who is a visual learner or hands-on learner is gonna really grapple with a Bible that has just a lot of text and no pictures or engagement and children can be especially overwhelmed by Bibles if um, they don't really have that type of learning style. So it can be really, really helpful for them. So lastly, but not least, is the illustrating Bible. And this is so, so fun. I'll pop these back a little bit to make some more room. This is a great square Bible that comes in a few covers. And this particular one has the Christian Standard Bible. I've got a few inserts in mind with tabs and different things going on here. And each one of these has just so much creative space and you can actually see each book of the Bible starts out with some text there. And right here where there is a really, um, you know, like a poetry or music or any, any of the things that are not just a story in the Bible, you're going to find that instead of the typical four inch or three and three quarter inch width, you can have all the way up to six inches of space in there, which is incredible. 
So they've spared no paper and they've just let you have it. And here is nine and a quarter inches uh, tall. So really, really lovely. This Christian Standard Bible does not have the words of Jesus in red. It's white paper, kind of off-white, and it has average size text and is really just lovely for helping you engage with scripture with huge amounts of space to do whatever kind of note taking or creativity you want. And these are from Dayspring. They're just absolutely lovely. And, and then with that, they sometimes come out with other ones here. Like I've got the book of Luke um, that they don't do anymore because they're doing the gospels. And this is Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John together. And so this is a little bit smaller. The coils on here are really good. And with all of these, you can actually take it and go to a page of interest and then flip this all the way around and just have what's in front of you, which is really, really handy. These smaller ones that are for a specific book, like this is the Gospels, this one is Psalms and Proverbs, they are much thinner and smaller in comparison to the full Bible. And as a result of that, they can actually handle having larger print. And so if you wanna go for something that's a bit more cost effective to try out and you want that extra space, and maybe go in that section and do a devotional or study through that section. You can have all that note taking space, all of those areas to create in. And as is typical um, space, there's like four inches of good space there, which is really, really wonderful. And of course, in the Psalms and Proverbs, almost a whole of it has a lot extra space. And so these are really, really wonderful. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And I do like the bigger print in these smaller ones. So periodically they just come out with different collections and I'll keep it up to date in my Bible guide. So check it out, have a look and see if anything in particular is of interest. And if you are on YouTube watching this or wherever you're watching this, if you can pop into the comments, if you've had any experience with any of these, would you let others know, let me know what is your favorite and what of these do you have some experience with that you can share a review in the comments below if you've got a favorite let us know what it is and please please give this video a like and consider subscribing i would absolutely love to support you moving forward and then pop into the link to get into the guide and find what works for you and think about others what could be a good gift for them for a birthday or a special occasion or perhaps a baptism or Christmas or anything like that that you may want to give a gift to someone then this may be a really easy way for you to pick something and just pick one of my favorites and think about one of the features that is best for them find a cover that you like the look of and away you go uh, you won't even need to be bogged down by choice uh, because this is really some of the best of the bunch uh, and it reflects a few different publishers, a few different styles and uh, um, different needs like large print, red letter, whatnot. So I hope you found this helpful. I will see you in the next video. Take care. You are loved.